Bounce Nation is the name. My name is Philin Jean, and of course, I'm hanging out with Tavai. One of Batman Kings is up in the building. How are right. you guys feeling? How are you guys feeling? We're feeling Mbani. the when hits. Talk to us. Make sure we talk to us. Make sure we talk to us. At Y254 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on IG. Make sure we talk to us. I'm going to talk to you about this. It's a chilling time. Chilling time. So guys are chilling at home. Yes, 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 guys are can you ready to get it? Hey, ready to sell. It got to sell. The hashtag is the Bounce Nation. Talk to us. We are coming back to sample your tweets as soon as we are down with this. But there it is. We have a question for you today. We actually call that segment "Would You Rather." So, after you, we have "Would You Rather Marry Your Celebrity Crush or Get Five Million and Walk." You know, what you're going to do is celeb, you see why I'm bother, sorry, leave them sorry, alone. Sorry, mm -hmm. correcting you. You can't get five million and walk. Mm -hmm. You drive. Ah. <laughs> you can't. Ah. You, you get your five ah. million and drive away. <laughs> mm -hmm. It depends with what we're driving. Some mm -hmm. of us, you know, we, got, we don't want to drive anything less than five million. So, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just uh, 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 So, anyway, I am marrying the celeb because they already have money. So, I got the who money. Told you the, who told you celebrities the, I, have money? I they get don't love have and money. They, they money. have nothing. Ty Dollar has money. Nah, 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 nah. Ty has money. Nah. Bona na tafuta. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bona. Yeah, but it's okay. Bona, bona bado na tafuta. Ana ana tengeneza mangoma na na tafuta pesa. Okay. Kumani shana. Story is story by that. Let us know who you are vouching for. Tim Filin versus Tim Kingsley. All right. Now before we took a break, before we went to the music break, I told you we have a guest today, and he's not just a guest. He is an international guest, and he is right here in the two five four man. He is a he has many hearts. Like Staki Ataku introduced because I'm just gonna let him do that because you know, bro, 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 bro. He has traveled to get here, and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, just put your hands together for the one and only speedo hey 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 yo hey. okay you already know what time is it it's your rapper speedo the rapper they talk about the town the big man rapper hey. i came in the game to kill him season one of the best of all time speedo the rapper make them freeze i'll be the building already two five four i'm feeling the heat already you already know what time is it hey. uh -huh. bro, bro bro and we haven't even started yet like that's just the intro we have not even started yet now speedo welcome to 254 is it your first time in kenya bounce nation i feel good you, you feel know, great like, I feel you good. feel good it's thank good you so much and by the way asante right asante ah thank you. you're learning some swahili <laughs> that's amazing good to see yeah. you uh you've been here before or it's your first time my first time coming your here. first time how are you finding kenya so far are you liking the food the ladies tell us everything how's how has been your experience everything about kenya is beautiful <laughs> let me let okay. you guys know you All know right. um i just want to let you guys know you guys are really blessed mm -hmm. you know i've been around like some few places i went to mabasa mm -hmm. and i saw beautiful places beautiful hey. you know i mean um natural things around you know, I feel blessed, you know what I mean, in Kenya, my first time, and I feel like um, I'm home already, you know what I mean, and um, yeah, I've had the Ogadi, Ogadi, and uh, that's my favorite, right? Uh, Ogali. Ogali, uh -huh. Ogali, and um, the Kenya girls, I would say like 100%, 100%, they are beautiful. Ah, oh, amazing, I, you know, I, I didn't think you would like Ogali, for first time, if you sure. don't try it for the first time, they're usually like, ah, uh -huh. but I'm glad you love it, you are Thank you. Kenyan, if you like Ugali or Kenyan, <laughs> alright, now let's just get started with this, so you're from okay. Sierra Leone, right? Yeah, I'm from Sierra Leone. But you grew up in Liberia, or you yeah. schooled in Liberia, tell us about that. Um, from Sierra Leone, I school in Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. um, primary school, and I later went to Liberia to continue my music career, and I was there for the past nine to ten years. You know, um, went to Ghana, Nigeria, you know, to do music. Mm -hmm. And um, I was once like best rapper in Liberia 20, 2016 to 2017. Mm -hmm. ah. Artist of the Year Africa for Liberians. And um, best collaboration that year. You know, I won it two hours that time. So, like, yeah, um, I do like big Liberian, Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, Liberian music. Mm. So, like, I rap in Koloqua and I mix it with Creole when I was in Liberia. Oh. Now, I rap in Creole. Creole is the general language, yeah. you know, for the, for, for the Sierra Leoneans. Mm -hmm. I rap in Creole and I mix it with the, um, the Koloqua. Right. The Koloqua is the general language, too, for um, Liberia on the mm. side. So, like, my flow is kind of um, in between Sierra Leone and Liberia. All right. Yeah. 
that's pretty dope and he's one of the one of the i'm not even like trying to gas him up but he's literally one of the fastest rappers we have in africa but you're gonna have to do something for us later on okay but then your journey didn't start right now you've been doing this for a minute since you were like 12. yeah i don't know so who inspired you to start like rapping back then and has that changed have you grown and you're like you know i'm my <laughs> own inspiration right now nobody can tell me nothing are you still <laughs> are you still humble i would say yeah, i would say like that. um I choose my mom, Obi. You know, she loves music so much. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I have mentors. I have people that I've been looking up, you know, to um, people like Pupa Banjo. You know, he was once like the fastest rapper for Sierra Leone. Right. Yeah, so big shout out to him. And also Shadow Boxer. We have few people. But like these are the two main people, I, you know, I was looking up to, okay. you know, doing my thing when I was coming up. Right. Yeah. And, and of course, a lot of people compare you to Sakodi. Like, mm. I don't know why that is, but he's actually a pretty fast rapper as well. So I don't know, is that where the comparison comes from? The fact that he raps really fast. He raps really fast. And yeah. I would say big shout out to Sakodi. And yeah. I would say he's a big brother in the game. Yeah. And um, um, I would say like, for me, I'm from, you know, the I'm from, um, I'm, I'm Kono, you understand? So the Kono and the tree look alike the same. So when you rap in Creole, you understand, mix it with English, mm -hmm. it sounds a little bit of pigeon. Right. You understand? So, like, um, the energy, I would say, like, Sakuri and I, like, we all have the same energy. You understand? We are rapping. Because uh, I've been doing this for a very long time. You understand? So, like, yeah, um, been listening to Sakuri also. Like, people say, like, oh, yeah, Sakuri and Speedo, like, do rap the same, but I have my own way of rapping. I'm Speedo. I rap like Speedo. I go too fast and I mm. switch also. You know, Sakuri has his own style. Yeah. You understand? But, like, if you compare the energy, I would say, like, okay, Speedo and Sakuri, like, you know, raps the same with the same energy and the same speed. Right. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about, okay, the hip hop culture is believed for you to uh, make it. You have to. You know, I don't know, beef with someone. <laughs> and, and, okay, at least in Kenya, and of uh -huh. course we see that same in the U.S. as well. Is it the same in, our, in, in Sierra Liberia Sierra and Sierra Leone? Sierra Leone? Of course, of course, yeah. The, the hip-hop game in Sierra Leone is not, is not a joke. Like, people really, like, take it serious. Mm -hmm. If you're in beef with someone, you know, they take it serious. They don't joke oh. with it. Yeah. So even in Liberia too. So it's more, like, it's more of a Tupac and Biggie kind of thing. It's that sure, big. especially in Sierra Leone. <laughs> especially in Sierra Leone. But people need to know that it's a business. Yeah. You know, but it's also good, again, for the culture. Mm. It's good for the culture. It spice up the game in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah. All right. And uh, in Kenya, how can you compare the Kenyan scene uh, with the... With Sierra Leone, and because I saw you have you're working on a collab with Cal Calligraph. Uh, I don't know if that's true. What in the street? Rumor <laughs> has it that he is working on something uh, with with, uh, with the OG himself, Cal uh, Calligraph Jones. Is that true? And how can you compare the two scenes? Um, I would say, like, uh, first of all, I'm proud of um, I'm proud of all the Kenyan artists here. Yeah. And then um, I will say to them that they're, they're working. And, mm -hmm. and I'm proud also, you know, of OG, the Calligraph, you know, Calligraph Jones. I'm proud of him because, like, he's not only doing it for all of Kenya, mm -hmm. but doing it for the whole of Africa. Right. He's making name out there. You understand? He's making big wave out there. So, like, uh, whenever um, somebody from out there, like, say, okay, like, I'm coming to Kenya, people will expect the collaboration. You know, from you and the OG. Of course. You you know that. <laughs> you know course, what I mean. Of course. So like yeah. So like um. But like for everything right now, I would say like uh, me like I like to like work on something on the low. You understand? After I finish with everything, if I go through with everything, then you know before letting the public know. Mm -hmm. You understand? So like uh, everything is on pending right now. Oh, it's pending. You understand? And then, uh, okay, you know our bloggers are overworking. They say you were mm. the calligraphy uh, producer. It's, it's, yeah, sure. And they're like, okay, something mm. is cooking. Something is cooking. So here for it. All right, so do you play Kenyan music back in uh, Sierra Leone? Or how do you know any Kenyan artists? Well, apart from Calligraph, do you, any, do you know any Kenyan artists? Do you play Kenyan music? Yeah, we, you, we used to, like, back in the days then, uh, my mom and my dad, you understand, back in the days, like, people used to vibe with the Swahili songs, mm -hmm. you know, back then. And also, like, um, the Swahili vibe, it's kind of uh, um, unique, you understand? Right. When you sing in Swahili, you know, it has that kind of unique style, you understand, that makes you to, like, um, still vibe with the song. You understand? And um, secondly, um, I've been following like few artists from Kenya here also. And um, we have this female Nazi something, you know, like I just like always like miss her name. Mm -hmm. And um, Otelo Brown, like oh, this yeah. guy is, is good. Is it Nadia? Otelo? You meant to say huh? Nadia. Is huh? that Nadia? 
Not, uh, yeah, Nadia. Nadia and, and also Otilele and I've heard of like Caterpillar. Ah, you know, yeah. So okay. like um, also Steve was Simple Boy, like, yeah, <laughs> I think so. so. Yeah. So, so you know, like um, this, like even like the OG song, for now, I would say Calligraph, like some of his songs are playing out there. You yeah. understand? Some of his songs are playing out there, like Yes, Bana, and also the Invincible, you yeah, know, Currency album. album is really, really dope. Yeah. Yeah. So like people are vibing to it out there. We love it's that. It's really, really good. We love to see that. And I was like, I'm proud of you guys. And we out there, you understand, as Africans, you know, we are proud of you guys too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are proud of you. Thank you so much for coming through in Kenya, my dear. And, you. Uh, you know, just for representing your country. Our, our, our celebs should do that, right? Will we be welcome? Are they welcoming us if you're coming? Oh, you don't speak Swahili. Or oh, they're going to be like, oh. I'm going we're... to stay with the vibe. You just mix it. <laughs> I catch the vibe sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we like to see it. So we are coming to tour. Kenyan artists, they're here in studio. We, okay, stuck you some money, Nani, but we have Kenyan artists that are here in studio. Oh, yeah? We, they have to come to Sierra Leone okay, as well. Okay, of as well course. As Liberia, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's talk about the talk, uh, talk of town movement. Mm, talk of the town movement. Yeah, talk of the town movement. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you started that. Yeah, I started that, and it's a big movement. You mm -hmm. know, I've been um, grinding and struggling with Talk of the Town movement since I was in Liberia with my whole team. You know, we have established Talk of the Town movement in, in Gambia and also some parts of um, Ghana, Kaswa, mm -hmm. and then I have fan base all over. Right. You know, and um, big shout out to my Liberian people because they all started, mm -hmm. you know, this thing with me. You know what I mean? So, like, Sierra Leone Talk of the Town movement is worldwide. I would say for now, and I, I I also have like few fan based you know team here to work in, you know what I mean we talk of the town movement so like yeah it's all over. Okay. It's all over yeah. We we'll love to see that talk of the town, mm -hmm. and I, and um twelve bars that's one of the your songs that stood out for me. How did that come about? Twelve bars. It's such a, yeah. Oh. Such a, that's a huge <laughs> song. Tell us about that a little bit. Twelve bars like um okay, um twelve bars is a freestyle like I decided to like you know, like drop, it's a warning shot. Mm -hmm. You understand that I drop for um, people who are like, they see me in the game. You understand, like if you listen to the song, like the, the set up with cabals against me, you understand, mm -hmm. using my brothers to fight against me. You understand, cause like we have some sets of people in, um, in the industry, whenever they see like you coming up hard, they go against you. Right. You understand, they go against you and they try to like find people that will knock you down. You understand? So, like, I was just trying to, like, express myself through that song. You understand? I didn't even say much. Mm -hmm. I like, it's just 12 bars. You understand? So, like, those who know themselves, if you know that they kept with you, then that means we, we carry on. And it was tough, though. It was tough, yeah. Oh, all right. Thank you, by the way, for following that song. Of course I do. And, of course, you're here for, oh, oh, you just released a song as we wind up. Tell us about mine. Mine is the, the song you just released a few days ago. So, maybe you can tell us about that. Okay, um, big shout out to Vince on the beat and um, DJ Stone, the incredible man, DJ Stone, by the way. Um, I would say my song is special for all my Kenyan girls. Right. You understand? <laughs> so, Jumbo. Uh, Jumbo. Okay, I'll put it Mambo. Fine. I pull up in Kenya, I see this girl and say Jumbo. Hey. Come back and turn around and say to me, Sina Mambo. And that's what we just did here. So oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't see that one coming. Thank you. <laughs> that was really dope. You caught me off guard, like hands down. That was super, super thank amazing. You. So uh, thank you so much for coming through. And of course, we told people you are one of the fastest rappers we have right here in uh, in Africa. Yep. So before you go, you have to do that for us. Just speed it up, it's a good time. I can make them to kill them. Seize the one of the best of us. Speed it up and make them freeze. Yo. They want me to be a loser for the beginning, so they want me to put on my film, make a mess, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but they want me to be a good person, but as we wind up, tell us everything as we go. Well, I would say, like, um, first, as an artist, it's mm. very good for you to move around. You understand? It makes you more, like, open, you understand, um, um, with the music. You know, saying, let me tell you, like, the, the, the whole industry, the music, it's a wall by itself. You understand? So, like, you need to know. When you move around, you know, it helps you. It's great. It helps you great. 
So like me coming to Kenya, it's all about networking, mm -hmm. to listen to a few sounds, you know, see how they work. When I go back home, yeah, I've learned something from here. You understand? And I will encourage every Kenyan artist to, to like, you know, to like make a move. I know some are making move, you understand? But when you move to various different African countries just for a week and you know how the people move that you listen to different sounds. And when you come back home, you understand you're trying to like, you know, you try to like put something together. I think yeah. that would be good. And you're inspired also. Hmm? You'll be also inspired. Inspired, yeah. yeah true, true, true. Sure. All right, so remind us your socials for the guys who want to follow up your journey. Um, catch me up on Instagram yeah. at Speedo, S P E E D O O, official and um, official fan page on Facebook, Speedo, S P E E D O apostrophico, and also on YouTube. All right? So okay. I just want the Kenyan people to know that I love them, and here is my home already. I'm okay. here. I'm not a stranger no more. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. You're welcome. Time and time again. Anytime you. you're in Kenya, this is home. Thank anyway. you. All right. So we're going to play some of your music for the guys to get a taste of what you're all about. And of course, we are still here. The hashtag is Bounce and Nation at y 2 Free Channel at Filimjin at Ken King C. And of course, at Speedo. The rapper, it's a good With a time. double E. All right. <laughs>